Hello dear friends, I think a lot of you has already seen <coughs> a lot of you have already seen many times I make yogurt and it's a cold winter day I will do it again so this one is plain milk I will heat it up until <coughs> until that my finger can put in about 40-50 degree in my temperature level, I mean Celsius, yes, in my temperature and uh, <coughs> 40 or 50, now it's still, it's not cold enough and then <coughs> I will put in the yogurt, here is the yogurt, I'm sorry I do not have a cameraman, so this is the yogurt and I will put this yogurt in <coughs> to blend it. Okay, not yet the time. <coughs> and this one is original plain yogurt. So it's plain, but uh, I would like to have some flavor in it. So I put it, put some vanilla sugar, vanilla sugar in. The temperature is oh, oh this one become hot and so oh yeah. very hot the steel becomes still heat a little bit more and then <coughs> I put in a few spoonful of yogurt. Oh that's a good one. Don't you think so? Can get the water off. One two oh two huge spoonful. One to two and a half, let's say, huge spoon. And stir it. Now the temperature is okay. Still here, it's hot. I am very, very. I put too much, I'm sorry. can be a little bit hotter because I do not feel hot so it is kind of below my body temperature so it's kind of below uh, 37 degree I would like it up to 35 or 50 degrees so I need to feel a little bit hot so it's roughly okay I used to put the yogurt base into the pot and stir each pot. Now, now I almost never fail, so it makes me become braver, <laughs> more brave, braver. Is there a word braver or more brave? Please correct me. Okay, I will check wiki. I will check online dictionary. Brave or brave? Is such a word anyway. We will not spend time on that. One. <coughs> How many can I make? I'm not sure. I did not put any sugar. Do I need? Okay. It's, it's better to put some sugar. <coughs>
develop by itself. I do two times it is more even. Makes sense. in hot water a little bit hotter than my finger I feel hot but I can still put in so <coughs> when I move around oh, did you see it no here okay <coughs> here is the water and it is hot hotter than my finger so I move a little bit then it becomes cooled down, just perfect. So <clears throat> yesterday on, on Sunset Magazine, we, we book, we uh, subscribed to Sunset Magazine and Sunset Magazine mentioned about make your own yogurt at home. And actually, it is very much like what we are doing right now here. And the result, since I have some yogurt, I can show you the result. So this, this yogurt has been good for um, one day, two days, around two days one or two days at least uh, uh, around 30 hours or something so we take a look at it and uh, it is firm but still it is much much softer than what we bought in the in the shop for example, here is what we bought in the shop, right? It is very firm. It's at least much firm, more firm than it. And uh, I wonder why I cannot make it. So <clears throat> if you make yogurt, just plain milk and yogurt base, then it is very, very uh, uh, soft because you did not put uh, much... Um, gelatin or anything to to make it firm so it is much softer and uh, also if you put this one drain it into a piece of uh, a cheese cloth it will become firm firmer but still cannot compare with the commercial made when something is made commercial it is machine made right it is a hobo, ho, ho, hobo, ro, robot, robot made. So we are eating, we are contributing our money to the machine, to to for the development of industrialization, right? So homemade food, <clears throat> homemade food, mama made food will never be as. Uh, as ascetic as those machine made and uh, it's just a pity that uh, 
Mama cannot compete with uh, a hobo, <laughs> the robot. Um, well, otherwise, why they have, why they invent, uh, <clears throat> invent uh, robot, right? Mom has existed in this world since the beginning of, uh, of uh, human, human existence, and uh, robot was exist. Uh, not longer than 200 years or something, right? So there is no need to invent another mom, another mama to make food, but it needs, um, it needs invention of robot. Anyway, these are all the fallacy. <laughs> this is nonsense I'm talking about. Uh, what I am trying to say is that if your yogurt does not look as good as uh, in the shop, it is not your fault, and uh, it is not anybody's fault. It is supposed to be like this because you did not put firming agent. And another thing, if your yogurt is not as delicious as in the machine in the market, it is not your fault. You are just a home yogurt maker. And uh, <clears throat> those companies who produce company, they have scientists, they have biochemical uh, scientists, uh, researchers, and they know what people want. And they can manipulate things and make it, make it into something that... Uh, uh, whatever people want and marketing can make it just as pleasing as as possible not necessarily as uh, original as possible right and that's the that's the evolution of our time that is the the development and that is that is a hist that is the development Time need to develop our taste need to be need to follow the manipulation of the manufacturers. They want to make it uh, uh, a strawberry flavor. They can make out of a chemical to make it uh, a strawberry flavor without even using strawberry. Right? How can we make it? We are just a normal people, and uh, anyway. <coughs> Have fun, just enjoy some, uh, enjoy or suffer your own homemade plain yogurt, which is much uglier, uglier, uglier or more ugly, which is much less prettier, which is much less pretty and um, less tasty and uh, more original, okay? <laughs> Happy every day. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.